Redacting video files manually in Genetech Clearance. Redaction in the Genetech Clearance system is the act of obscuring or removing faces or other sensitive information from uploaded video files. Before sharing video with others, you can manually redact sensitive content in a scene to mask a person's face or other identifiable information. To redact a video clip in clearance, first make sure pop-ups are enabled in your web browser. You can only redact video files that were uploaded in a supported file format, such as MP4 or ASF, and are associated with the case. A new copy of the original video is created whenever a redaction is performed. You can also create different redactions for different copies of a video. If the source file contains audio, the audio will remain in the redacted video clip as well. To redact a video file manually, open a case that the file you wish to modify is associated with. Click on the menu icon after the file name in the Files field, and click Redact Video to open the video clip in the editor. To scrub through the video clip, click and hold on the time marker in the timeline, which is the yellow line, and drag to view the video at that time. Use the Play button under the video preview to start playing at that time, or pause while the video is playing. Use the arrows on either side of the play button to step backwards or forwards through the video one frame at a time. Use your mouse wheel or the zoom slide above the timeline to zoom in and out of the video clip. The thumbnails will update to the new zoom levels right away and help you identify where you want to redact your video clip. If you zoom into a point where the ends of your video clip are off the screen, you can use the scroll bar on the bottom of the page to reposition the timeline. To manually redact a video clip, first click on the Mask Video tab in the editor. In the masking pane next to the tab, click on the New Mask button to create a new mask layer in the mask list and in the timeline. Once you have a mask created, you can click on the Mask Settings button to configure the mask properties for the video clip. A mask can be either a black box, which blocks the ability to see anything under the mask, or a blurred box, which only partially obscures the video content under the box. For a blurred mask, use the slider below the mask type selection to change the strength of the blur, either low, medium, or high. Samples are given below to show the effect of the mask on your video. From the video preview on the left, Click on the lower right corner of the mask box to drag and resize the masking box. Click anywhere inside the masking box to reposition the box in the video frame, covering the person or object you wish to hide or obscure. To follow a person or object that is moving within the video frame, the masking box can be manually tracked within the video frame. First, set the tracking speed in the masking pane. This is the speed the video will play back while manually tracking a person or object. For a video with a lot of movement, lower tracking speeds are recommended, while a more static video frame or subject can handle higher tracking speeds. The tracking speed range is from 0.1 times to 10 times normal playback speed. To start manually tracking, click on the tracking icon in the upper right corner of the mask box in the video preview window. As the video plays, move the masking box to keep the mask covering the person or object you wish to block or obscure. When the mask is no longer required on the video, release the tracking button on the mask. To change the duration of the mask, either click on the double arrow icons at the start or end of the mask on the timeline and drag left or right, or position the playback marker on the timeline and use the Start Mask at Current Time 
or end mask at current time buttons to extend or crop the mask timeline. The mask preview in the masking pane will change to reflect how much of the overall video clip is being covered by this mask. To delete a mask, either select it from the masking pane and click on the trash can icon, or click on the X next to the mask in the masking pane list. You can create many different layers of masks on the same video clip, just click on the New Mask button to create a new mask on the timeline. Once all the mask layers you need have been applied to the video, click on the Create Video button to save the changes and create a new video clip with a redacted added to the file name. While it's creating the video, you can click on the View Details button to see the progress and elapsed time. Click on the Hide Details button to just show the creation summary. After the video has been created, you can save the video to an existing case by searching for it below, create a new case to associate the redacted video with, or continue editing to go back to the video editor. If an existing case is selected, you can view the case first to make sure it's the one the file should be associated with. When creating a new case, you'll need to fill in the name of the new case and the department it belongs to. Don't forget to click on Save to Clearance when the case selection or creation has been done and the new video clip will be saved. When it is finished, you will receive a confirmation screen where you have quick links to view the associated case or view the file details in clearance. This is an easy way to change the name of the redacted clip so it can easily be found by other users of the service. If you choose to continue editing a clip that has already been created, you will have the option to view the saved video again by clicking on the View Created Video button on top. If you make any new changes to the clip, this button will change to View Last Created Video. Click on the Create Video button again to make a new video file with the current masks and save it to a case. If you have any video files you started working on and were saved but not created, you can find those files in the Projects folder. Click on the Projects button on the upper left to view the list of files that are in progress or completed.